When developing antibodies, it's extremely important to understand the structural state of the antigen in the end use application. There are multiple end use applications that use antibodies, and some of them are denatured, where the proteins or the antigen is denatured, and others, the antigen is remained in a conformational state. When determining your antibody strategy for developing your antibodies, it's important to assess those circumstances in your end use application to understand how to generate your antibody. If the antibody is going to be used in a Western application, it's important that the antibody recognize linear epitopes versus conformational epitopes. If the antibody is going to be used in flow cytometry, it's extremely important that the antibody can recognize conformational epitopes. Here at SDIX, we have developed a proprietary system called GAT technology that allows us to develop antibodies that are specific towards conformational epitopes. We do this by immunizing with a vector that causes to produce the antigen that we've selected. Typically, we scan an antigen and select about a 100 amino acid region that has low identity to other paralogs, but is also thought to be expressed in the protein either on the surface or in a structured or compact structured state that recognize this conformational epitope. This allows GAT technology antibodies to work in end use applications such as flow and IHC where it's essential that the antibody can recognize conformational epitopes. Because of the nature of GAT technology, these antibodies also work in Western blot applications and denatured, denatured assays where it's important that the antibody can recognize linear epitopes versus conformational epitopes. It's extremely important when setting up your antibody development strategy that you have a full understanding of what the end use application and the, and the state that the antigen is going to be in in the end use application to ensure that you've developed an appropriate antibody that will recognize with high specificity and sensitivity towards that antigen.